While hamburgers might have been invented in Germany, America has mastered the burger. Along with a bevy of spectacular burgers from coast to coast, there are burger-shaped debacles you'd be wise to dodge. Here's our ranking of chain burger restaurants in order, starting with the absolute worst. A trip to Sonic Drive-In is not a waste of time. They have many yummy items on their menu, from their iconic cherry limeade to their fantastic hot dogs. Other great choices include their onion rings and their spicy yet delectable cheddar peppers. However, if you're headed to Sonic for a burger, you will have a bad time. Sonic's burgers are so bland and so forgettable that you will be completely underwhelmed. By the final bite of your burger, you will be angry that you spent your hard-earned dough on something that wasn't any tastier than the mass-produced burger found at the closest elementary school. If you're visiting Sonic, stick to their famous slushes, their scrumptious ice cream, or simple snack food like the aforementioned hot dogs and onion rings. If you're serious about acquiring a top-of-the-line burger, Sonic is clearly not the place to go. If you visited Fuddruckers as a child, you likely have extremely fond memories. Remember submerging your burger with so much liquid cheese from their cheese pump that your mom got embarrassed? Remember all the games, all the televisions, and the comfortable atmosphere that so enthralled you when you were young? Yeah, those were some fun times. Tragically, though, those times are gone. Fuddruckers isn't what you remember. The fantastic, juicy, made-to-order burgers of yesteryear have been replaced by sad, overpriced burgers that don't do your memories justice. Don't let nostalgia convince you that a trip to Fuddruckers is a good idea. It's a far cry from what it used to be in its heyday. Years ago, Fuddruckers would have been in the top five or even the top three on a list like this. Now, this place is barely able to stay out of last place. Dairy Queen is great for what it is, but shouldn't be the restaurant you go to when you want to eat a great burger. Dairy Queen has a ton of Blizzard flavors, and many of them are amazing. Go to Dairy Queen when your sweet tooth is begging for a dessert, but don't visit this restaurant when you have a craving for a burger. At best, a Dairy Queen burger is a rubbery, disappointing sandwich that you'll try to forget as you eat your Blizzard. At worst, their burgers are a charred, soggy nightmare that might even leave you feeling sick. Pound for pound, White Castle burgers are decent. Unfortunately, they are just way too small. Their burgers, which they call sliders due to their puny size, will struggle to fill you up, even if you're not that hungry. You'll probably have to order five or six of these things to put a dent in your hunger. And dealing with all those sliders is more embarrassing than it is satiating. Skip the hassle and the awkwardness and just go to a better chain burger restaurant. To White Castle's credit, it does try to make up for its shortcomings by offering about a dozen types of sliders. Sadly, the quantity of choices doesn't overcome the lack of substance. Considering the sliders are so small, there's only so much they can do to improve. A&W has a history dating all the way back to 1919, and to this day, more than 100 years later, this restaurant chain is known for its root beer. The chain has been offering burgers for decades, and A&W even claims to have invented the bacon cheeseburger, which has now become a part of American life. While A&W has an impressive resume and should be proud of its longevity and accomplishments over the last century, all of that is ancient history. When it comes to the here and now, the burgers this restaurant offers are below average. For example, the original bacon cheeseburger may have been a novel menu item decades ago, but today this sandwich is lacking in beef, bacon, and quality toppings. Part of the problem is the burger's massive buns overwhelming every other aspect of the sandwich. It's just too much. While no one would ever say McDonald's burgers are the best of the best, they do get some bonus points for being consistent. No matter where you are on the planet, you can order one of their burgers and be confident about what you will receive. Moreover, the Big Mac has been a national phenomenon since 1968. It's impossible to go through your existence as an American without at least having a couple of Big Macs along the way. The Quarter Pounder, which launched a few years later in 1971 and went national not long after, is also an American institution in its own right. While the consistency is admirable, the quality of McDonald's burgers simply can't compete with the competition. Thanks to that famous jingle, we know the many ingredients that comprise a Big Mac. However, despite all that is on it, a Big Mac has relatively little flavor and certainly doesn't have the meaty goodness that other burgers boast. Add in the unhealthfulness of some of their other burger options, and it's clear that McDonald's is unlikely to ever rise in a ranking like this one. When it comes down to bang for your buck, Rally's really delivers. 
Their burgers are inexpensive and adequate enough for you to be satisfied with your visit. And if Rally's isn't in your region, you may know it better as Checkers. It's the same company. However, this chain burger restaurant comes up a bit short if you're simply judging their burgers for their quality without factoring in value. As good as Rally's burgers look, they lack the immense flavor found at competing restaurants. As an example, their Baconzilla looks like Wendy's Baconator and even has similar ingredients. However, the Baconzilla is not nearly as tasty. Likewise, as good as Rally's Big Buford looks, you need to keep your expectations in check when you order it to avoid being disappointed. Since opening their first location in 1986 in Los Angeles, Johnny Rockets has been a popular destination for those who want an entertaining 1950s diner experience while enjoying a good burger. While this restaurant consistently provides the fun, eccentric vibe of a 50s diner, the quality of their burgers is much less consistent. Even if you've had a very tasty burger from Johnny Rockets, don't be too confident that your next visit will result in a burger of equal quality. The late Anthony Bourdain found out firsthand that Johnny Rockets doesn't always live up to expectations. As he told Conan O'Brien, you know, Look, I, I've eaten a lot of really nasty things on my show, but nothing is soul-destroying as my airport Johnny Rockets experience. If you're willing to roll the dice, Johnny Rockets is an okay place to go for a burger. But if you get unlucky like Anthony Bourdain did, you'll be talking about your misfortune for years to come. If you're okay with a perfectly adequate burger, Carl's Jr. won't leave you disappointed. None of their burgers will especially wow you, and you shouldn't go out of your way to visit one of their locations. But Carl's Jr. has a long list of available burgers, and none of them will leave you disheartened. Need help ordering at Carl's Jr.? The Western Bacon Cheeseburger is so unique that it's something you should try while you're still in the land of the living. This bad boy features a beef patty, a pair of bacon strips, a slice of American cheese, a delightfully tangy barbecue sauce, and most notably, onion rings within a sesame seed bun. Jack in the Box is a popular burger spot, particularly for those west of the Mississippi. For a newbie, ordering a burger at this place is a dangerous proposition. Some of the items on their burger menu are really good, however, others are a big disappointment. The Sourdough Jack is a big winner. Along with a beef patty, you'll find bacon, Swiss cheese, a high-quality tomato slice, ketchup and mayo on a delicious sourdough bread. On the other end of the spectrum, though, is the ultimate cheeseburger. This burger, which contains two beef patties and both American cheese and Swiss cheese, isn't good at all. It has a mushy texture and a taste that somehow manages to be too savory. Plus, the melty cheese, buttery bun, and the presence of ketchup, mayo, and mustard make it a mess to eat. Do yourself a favor and skip it. After beginning life as a bar in the 1940s, Red Robin has grown into a chain restaurant in which burgers are front and center of everything they do. While they offer a pleasant sit-down dining experience and a number of inventive and tasty burgers, the fact that most of their burgers cost around $11 makes visiting a Red Robin an iffy decision value-wise. Many of their burgers taste good, but not quite $11 good. An example of the inventiveness of Red Robin's burgers is their Bonsai Burger, which apparently draws some of its inspiration from Japan. The beef patty is glazed with teriyaki sauce and is topped with grilled slices of pineapple along with cheddar cheese, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. If you want to turn up the heat, opt for the Burn and Love Burger that will immolate your taste buds with the help of fried jalapenos, a heaping dollop of salsa, and pepper jack cheese. While both of these burgers are really good, be prepared for some sticker shock at the end of your meal. The best thing about Burger King is that their burgers are all safely above average, and that makes it nearly impossible to mess up your order. Additionally, their beef has a flame-grilled flavor that is one of a kind and undeniably memorable. If you love that flame-grilled taste, Burger King could leapfrog over the competition and become one of your favorite two or three burger joints. On the other hand, if you find that flavor off-putting, you may actively avoid Burger King for the rest of your days. The staple of Burger King's flame-grilled burger menu is the legendary Whopper. Beyond the flame-grilled taste, the meat is juicy, the bun is amazing, and the other ingredients are of high quality. If you want something heartier, the massive triple Whopper with cheese will fill you to the brim. If you're east of the Mississippi, there's a good chance you've never seen a fat burger, as a vast majority of the chain's locations are in California. 
However, in the Golden State, it seems like everyone has only positive things to say about this burger chain. And while Fat Burger isn't the cream of the crop, they certainly deserve their spot in the top half of our ranking. The most famous burger at Fat Burger is called, of course, the Fat Burger. This burger has a 100% beef patty, lettuce, onion, tomato, pickles, relish, mayonnaise, and mustard on a toasted bun. Interestingly, despite the name of this burger and the restaurant in which it is served, the Fat Burger features lean beef. The original Fat Burger has one-third of a pound of beef, and there are three larger versions, in case you're extra hungry. The tricky thing about Steak and Shake is that you really need to do your research so you know what to order. If you go in blind, there's a real chance that you will leave this burger restaurant with your tail between your legs. In theory, the Western Barbecue and Bacon Steak Burger should be really good. This sandwich has two slabs of beef, bacon, American cheese, fried onions, and barbecue sauce. Sadly, the reality of the situation is you shouldn't order this burger because the barbecue sauce is way too sweet and has an artificial smoky aftertaste. Conversely, you'll be thanking the burger gods if you get your hands on the White Truffle Prime Steak Burger. This glorious beast features a pair of Swiss cheese slices, perfectly caramelized onions, grilled mushrooms, and a truffle aioli on a brioche bun that has been toasted. You're welcome! Burgerfy is quickly climbing the charts when it comes to having the best burgers around, and as time passes, expect them to only climb higher and higher. There's a lot to love about Burgerfy. First of all, Burgerfy claims that it only picks the top 1% of beef in the US, and that the beef has no antibiotics, growth hormones, or steroids. And science backed their claim. Secondly, they have one of the best meatless burgers in the fast food universe. BurgerFi's VeggieFi Burger is so good that even the proudest self-avowed carnivores will happily devour it and enjoy every second of it. When ordering from BurgerFi's menu, there's really no need to complicate things. The BurgerFi Cheeseburger is a classically delicious burger that you can't help but thoroughly enjoy. You can't accuse Smashburger for burying the lead when it comes to their name, as their beef is literally smashed onto a buttered and seasoned grill in order to create the delectable flavor they're known for. While they aren't the only chain burger restaurant to smash their beef, they've taken the practice to the next level and have made it the focus of their entire operation. Like BurgerFi, Smashburger is a relatively new kid on the block. The chain was founded in 2007, and it already has more than 300 locations across 36 states. Beyond their smashing technique, Smashburger's success can be attributed to the fact that they have mastered just about everything on their menu. While the options are relatively limited, each and every item is really, really good. Considering that Wendy's is a fast food joint with more than 5,500 locations that can be found in every nook and cranny in the nation, the quality of their burgers is astonishingly high. Maybe it's because their burgers are square. More likely, the quality of their burgers is due to their practice of only using fresh beef that was never frozen at any point in time. The creme de la creme when it comes to Wendy's burgers is undoubtedly the Great Baconator. If you've never eaten one of these bad boys, you're missing out. It has half of a pound of their never-frozen beef, six slices of smoked bacon, two slices of American cheese, mayonnaise, and ketchup. The first time you eat one is borderline euphoric, and you can even have one for breakfast. Shake Shack hasn't even been around for 20 years, but their masterful burgers are impossible to ignore. Try one of their burgers, and you won't be surprised at all to learn that they've become so successful that they now have in excess of 275 locations around the globe. Don't let their name fool you, as the milkshakes take a back seat at Shake Shack. Far and away, the best item on their menu is the Shack Burger. It has tomato, lettuce, and a yummy bun that's made out of a potato roll. However, it's the beef that's the star of the show. Shake Shack only uses Angus beef that's free of antibiotics and hormones and was raised on a pasture, not in a factory farm. If you want something a little bit different at Shake Shack, the Smoke Shack is exactly what you seek. This fancy burger has delectable bacon on it that was smoked over applewood. It also has cherry pepper slices to add just the right amount of heat. When Whataburger was born in Corpus Christi, Texas, the impressive size of their burgers was the main selling point. While the size of their burgers will still impress you, it's the flavor that will have you reminiscing for days on end. 
The magic begins with the standard Whataburger, which comes with lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, and mustard. It sounds relatively simple, but it's a fantastic burger that's so juicy and flavorful that it will keep your taste buds dancing. If you want to mix things up, go with a double Whataburger or a jalapeno and cheese Whataburger that has enough jalapeno slices on it to make Whataburger's South Texas roots proud. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the hamburger. Hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. Maybe we should stop. We don't quit. The top three spots in this ranking are separated by a razor-thin margin. All three chain burger restaurants have valid reasons why they deserve the top spot. When it comes to Five Guys, the freshness of the burgers and their obvious burger expertise make a compelling case. Going forward, it wouldn't take much for this chain to leap into first place. While Wendy's is famous for never freezing their beef, Five Guys takes it a step further. Not only is their beef never frozen, they don't even have freezers on the premises. That's an impressive level of dedication to offering fresh food. Furthermore, while other burger places claim to be experts in the field, Five Guys chefs have the recipes down to a science, so much so that they don't even use timers, and that's basically unheard of in this industry. You can confidently shout from the rooftops that In-N-Out Burger has the best burger in all the land, and you won't get much pushback. People may look at you like you're crazy for climbing onto a roof to scream about burgers, but there won't be many who decide to argue against you. In-N-Out Burger has stupendous options, from the humble cheeseburger to the animal-style burger with grilled onions and pickles from their not-so-secret menu. The key to In-N-Out Burger's success is the mastering of ratios. The ratio of the beef to the cheese and the ratio of the beef to the bun are both ideal and result in a delicious burger. While other burger eateries are plagued by too much bread or not enough beef, that's never an issue at In-N-Out Burger. For 2020, the Harris Poll found that Culver's reigns supreme in the burger restaurant category, and we agree that this chain burger restaurant is the best in the United States. If you've never eaten a burger at Culver's, a smart way to think of this place is to consider it Five Guys, but with superior toppings. From their buns to their meat and everything in between, you can count on Culver's to deliver top-notch ingredients that are bursting with flavor. The most famous burger at Culver's is the Butter Burger. Don't be confused and think that this burger features a buttery meat concoction. The word butter in Butter Burger refers to the fact this burger comes on a buttered bun that has been lightly toasted. Bottom line? You'll be blown away by the freshness and the authenticity of all the ingredients. And you too will be exclaiming to one and all that Culver's is now the home of the best burgers. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurant chains are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.